Coach, um, in regards to the the meditation and the and the resistance, um, why is it that the mind resists so much the meditation? Because I had created a habit of uh, meditating twice a day, but for the last uh, two three weeks, I I I find it I find myself fighting it. Or I find a lot of resistance to the meditation twice a day, and, and I want to understand where this all this resistance is coming from. Yeah, let me show you. So I'm actually sharing with you a diagram that was gonna kind of help me explain this a little easier. Okay. And this one is in the course as well. Okay, so we'll just do it here. So right now you are identified at this level, okay? What you believe yourself to be is simply th this I thought, which we call ego, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is also just mind. And this, this I thought is constantly projecting thoughts and emotions. So this is what you, we can call your internal reality, okay? And this mm -hmm. is your external reality, body and world, the countless different experiences and everything. So this, this is where the mind dominates, okay? Internal and external. As long as all you okay. know is this, then the mind wins. Then the mind keeps its control over you. So with me so far? Yes. Okay. So this is how, this is how we live. This is all we know. Mind and world, mind, body. This is what we consider ourselves to be. But as we've been doing the work in this program, we are discovering that you are essentially what is deeper than the mind. Only then can you know the mind. Only then can you know the, the body and the world. All these things are constantly coming and going. They're constantly changing. But this, mm -hmm. the one that is watching, even the mind, even everything that is in, in the world, this one never changes. This is where you are perceiving from. With me so far? Yes. So meditation is you, awareness. Okay, I'm not talking to David anymore. Okay. Meditation is you, awareness, recognizing that it is not this and this. So this okay. ultimately loses its reality. It, it loses its hold over your being, awareness. So it is you uncovering the truth of your true nature, of your own self. Right now, you consider yourself to be mind and mind has control over this. So the reason it, it, it resists so much is because it, you can say it wants to keep its control. It wants to, it wants to keep you awareness identified as I David. That's true. So why? So that's, that's, you can say, and this is not a, it's not a bad thing. I'm not made, painting the mind out to be the villain. That's just the nature of the game that I'm describing. Okay. So awareness forgets itself to know itself as I, David, to experience separation. Because this one is just one. It is all. It is whole. It cannot experience. It cannot experience experience. <laughs> itself, yes. Right. So in order for it to experience objectivity, separation, otherness, it must break itself down into this illusion. All of this is imagined within awareness. OK, so meditation is you awareness, recognizing that you are awareness and not this David and, and body of David. <laughs> So this is why it's called freedom. It's why it's called liberation. Um, it is freedom from no. It is freedom of knowing what you actually are. That you are beyond the play of mind and and world. That you are already this. That you you don't have to become this. You're not becoming this. The right. more spiritual you become, you are already this. But right now, this as I this right here is identified as this and this. So meditation is what wakes us up to that fact. Self-inquiry is what wakes us up to that fact. So in the meantime, the mind will offer resistance because it's quite literally the mind's job to continue going more and more and more 
so that it can continue to paint this illusion, so that the illusion can stay intact. If you start to create gaps in mind, this starts to wake up. And if it starts to wake up, then the illusion loses its, its hold over your being. So, and also I just want to clarify that the, like when you're, when awareness is actually waking up to the fact that it is awareness, it's not that, oh, this stops, you know, this stops the way that it is being right now. It's it, like this play will still go on. Mind and body and world will still be there. But now no longer will these constantly project so much separation that you, you know, you fall into those fears and no longer is this going to be a serious drama, but it will simply be seen as what it is. More like a play. And, and why is it that the resistance seems to increase, increase, increase at, at some times more than others? That's, that's you know, that's just um, kind of the, the funny thing about meditation. You could kind of like meditate for, you know, you could be like an experienced meditator, but maybe one day you wake up and mind is so active or like it's just so hard to do so. It's just hard to sit down or whatever. That's fine. Just, just you know, Again, that's where the acceptance plays in. Simply allow what is in this moment, however turbulent the mind is or whatever is going on in your external situation, rather than losing yourself in what is what you're being aware of, just simply recognize what is aware of this. Right? When I was talking to Lois earlier. So we're not so all of this was just constantly gonna come and go. Again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. So instead of just constantly losing ourselves in this and judging all of this, simply inquire, what knows this? Because that will always bring you back to this. And, and um, so, because I watched uh, some, uh, some videos of uh, Abraham Hicks, and she's talking about the vortex. Is mm -hmm. the vortex the same source as where the awareness and the self and the I is? There is only one source. And the different names for it are these awareness, self, I, consciousness, God, um, vortex, everything. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's all different. It's just different words representing the it's, same thing. Okay. okay. Um, so, so let's say in one of the videos, she, she's, I just want to bring this up because I want to understand it. She, she says that everything you need is inside the vortex, meaning everything that you need is within yourself. Like all the money, all the happiness, all the joy, everything that everybody seeks out in the like out in the materialistic world, it's actually inside inside awareness already. Awareness itself is infinity. Okay. Because awareness is one. One means one is also infinite. Okay. Do, does that does that make sense so far? Like one mm -hmm. in oneness, there cannot be another; otherwise, they would no longer be infinite. Because then there would be two, okay. and that 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 creates a limitation on one. Oh, okay? Oh, wow, okay, so this one is infinite, and and so when we're looking at it from the perspective of body mind, the fragment, isolated fragment that believes that it is separate and everything. The source of this one is infinity. The source is that awareness. It is infinity. And that's what it's really meaning that like you have infinite potential, that everything that you really desire, that the potential for that is within you because infinite is infinite potential. It, it can take all the, all the images that you see, all the different forms of like people, like all these experiences that you see, all like the, infinite different life forms and things that you see in the phenomenal world are expressions of that infinity. Okay, so basically when we have limitations is when we think with that little person that you talk about. That's when we're limited. When you are even identified as the little person, you are already limiting yourself. Wow, okay. And, and thought can only be limited because for thought, to, to exist, there has to be two because there needs to be a thinker and one there is to think something that there is to think about. There's already, so it's already duality. So as soon as you step into thought, you are in duality. Okay. So every time we go to the neutral, like to 
due to the awareness to the to the eye we're, we're tapping into our source we're tapping into infinite infinite I infinity you david don't go to source you source awareness recognize i am awareness okay you already so are that you are already perceiving from that what is aware of my voice it is already that it is not david it is awareness so i gotta i gotta i gotta i i feel like okay i need to work more on this because yes i have to detach myself from david and be understand that i i am awareness and tap into that more this can only happen if you start to be quiet internally mentally because if mind keeps going it will continue to project duality and all you will ever know is i david experiencing life and thoughts and everything then this will yes, be the extent one, of your experience i remember i remember one of your videos you said not to think like thinking will will be done when it's needed so exactly and once awareness is wake so because this is a common fear right it's like but once this 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 sort of recognition is occurring, then what am I going to like lose my ability to think or do or act in the world? No, now, then then you can say the working mind, you can break the mind off into two working mind and thinking mind. The working mind is what is constant is just taking care of what is here right now. So right now, like all the billion different chemical reactions going on in your body, the breathing that's automatically happening, that the little scratch that you just did, right? That, that was just automatic. You didn't think about that. That's just the working mind doing its thing. That all that activity continues to go on. But now there's no longer a psychological mind that is constantly projecting past and future. That is what dissolves. So now mind can actually play out its function but no longer is it your master. Wow. Yeah. Amazing.